ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome and a round of applause to the returning, the one, the only, Chef John! Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Ha. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. Set it and come get it. When the sun starts going down, live your life the way you like. It's the Rec Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. What is up, America? How are you guys doing? Swell. Welcome to the most exhilarating, electrifying, entertaining daytime cookie show out there, Lunch Break. I'm your host, Chef John, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to the worldwide headquarters of Rec Tech Grills. We are doing it. It is a great, great Thursday today. Guys, it's the beginning of Academy. That's right. Academy is here, our first Academy of 2020. People are starting to roll in from all over the country. We want to give you all a warm welcome. And all of those of you who are traveling right now, travel safe. We can't wait, wait, wait to see you. Like always, make sure you put all your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section. I got my boy, Jordan, on the ones and twos. Howdy. Oh, what, what? oh what look, at, that's what I'm saying. People are busy. We're busy. People are moving. We're getting ready, ready, ready for Academy. Guys, do me a favor real quick, though, before we go any further. Smash that share button for me so that everyone you know can enjoy lunch break. Man, That's what I'm talking about. they're all around the great U.S. of A. right now, John. We yes. got them from Iowa. We got them from Michigan. Yeah. We got them from Oklahoma. We got them from North Carolina. <clears throat> all I, over. I appreciate all you guys for watching. Thank you so, so much. So, we had a great May. Jordan, it was great. We had a great time. It was a great May. We it got was. off to a rough start, but we got back here and we kicked <laughs> it in high gear. We dropped the hammer on that thing. Sold out of bullseyes. Whew. I Don't mean, talk about that. Okay. Sore subject. It was a source. But y'all did great. We're doing great things. So, keeping with all that greatness, keeping that greatness going along, I want to show you guys how to do a quick and easy barbecue shrimp. That's right. Mm. Barbecue mm. shrimp. So, these are the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need, I have one. This is a red onion. We have, I've got about a pound and a half of frozen shrimp. I've got one jalapeno sliced, one lemon sliced up. I've got uh, two ears of corn, white corn that I've uh, cut off the cob. I've got a little bit of parsley. We've got garlic, paprika. I've got that Ben's heifer dust, the dirty girl rub, a little bit of olive oil and some Worcestershire sauce. And that's it. Oh wait. And the delicious butter. You can't, you can't forget the butter. You gotta have the butter. And that's all the ingredients you're gonna need. So what I did is today we're gonna be cooking on the RT700. I went ahead and set it at 475 degrees and I put a cast iron skillet on and let it just come up to temperature on the grill. So you can see we're rocking out at 475. That thing is nice and hot. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and coat our pan. John Brooke Heindel's checking in. She says, uh, hi from Hilton. Oh, shout out to the whole Waddell family. They're in Hilton Head right now on the beach, probably having a great time. I had a great time with Brooke and her family. I want to give all those guys a shout out. We had so, so much Who's fun. Who's that guy? Hey, it's Ray Carnes. He's in the building. Burr, 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 burr. Ray is here and he is ready to academy it up. All right, so we went ahead and dropped a little bit of olive oil in our pan. I'm going to go ahead and take our red onion. We're going to drop it in our cast iron skillet. I love that sound. Right? And you can tell that it's hot. You got that sizzle going. We're going to go ahead and drop in our jalapeno. And peppers, onions. Yeah. We're going to throw that corn in. I tell you, John, I, I, I'm not a big onion fan, but I love cooking with onions. It gives everything a nice earthy flavor, Jordan. You can't sleep on those onions. Sure Cannot can. sleep on them. So we're just gonna let this simmer, stir it around real quick. We're gonna let it come up to temperature. Guys, make sure you're putting all your comments and questions in the comment section. And that way JJ can be asking all those questions that you guys have. You know I want it. Yeah, you know he wants it. So we're gonna let that start to simmer up a little bit, all right? So then we're gonna take our garlic. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of garlic. Using the 
back end of the spoon there. Yeah, well, that's a little chef trick. You know what I'm saying? The back of that spoon is about a teaspoon. We're going to stir that in. That's looking great. And again, we're grilling at what now? 475 degrees, and the RT700 is just holding that temperature nice and tight. It got that cast iron skillet super, super, super hot. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add our heifer dust and our, our heifer dust and our dirty girl. We're going to put about wrong. two tablespoons of each. The heifer dust is a perfect blend of salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. And that heifer dust has the same, I mean, and that dirty girl has the same flavor profile as like Old Bay. A little bit more heat than Old Bay. So we're gonna hit those with about two tablespoons of each. If there's a way to describe a diverse flavor profile, I'd say the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub has that. Yes. Old Bay, you, you can kind of taste the same ingredients over and over. This is something different. It is a little something different. So that was two tablespoons of Dirty Girl and two tablespoons of heifer dust. And then I put a tablespoon of paprika. Now we're just gonna let this start to cook. We're gonna let that cook down and do its thing. They're commenting out there, John, they're uh, making note that the 700 is actually the little guy today. Yeah, look at the big guy we have beast. over here. The beast, often imitated, never duplicated, Rec Tech Grills the Beast. This right thing here in America. is huge, yeah, made in America. This thing is huge, you can barely pull it up with one hand. I'm a big dude. You can barely pull it up with one hand. That's perfect for hogs, goats, Anything large, Sasquatch. I'm telling you, anything that you're gonna want to hunt and kill, this is the grill for you, for sure. For sure. All right, Jordan, so I have this butter. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up. I've got a pound of butter here. Probably gonna use about three quarters of it. I'm gonna roll it, right? Hey, Scott Schiffel just got his shipment confirmation on his bullseye. Congrats, buddy. Yeah, Scott, buddy. I know you're excited. I'm excited for all you guys. High demand. Super high demand. All right, we're gonna put this butter in here. Question about those jalapenos. What's that? Question about those jalapenos. Yeah, hit me with it. Rodney Parrott wants to know, did you leave the seeds and ribs in the jalapenos? Okay, I did. Now, if you don't like spice, you're gonna wanna take the ribs and the seeds out, but these jalapenos, I know, were not that hot. I've used them before, and uh, they didn't have a lot of spice to them. They are actually a little bit sweeter than they were hot. So I just went ahead and left the seeds in there. Because, you know, I like a little bit of spice, but no, that's a great question. Great question. Got another one for you if you're yeah, ready Yeah, hit me it. with it. Uh, Bob Howard seems to be confused. Now, that grill behind you is the Beast, correct? The Beast, and that's right. And that's different from the, the BFG. That's right. They're two, two totally different grills. But the Beast is the max. This is the biggest you could get. We don't make a grill bigger than the Beast. Local pickup only. Local pickup only. And I think it's, and I think you have to order it special, right, Jordan? Because these are built. Custom made, made Custom buddy. made specifically for each person that orders them. So yeah, that's a great question. But yeah, this is the biggest grill that we make at Rec Tech Grills. This one right here, the Beast. Love it, love it. We're gonna be doing a whole hog on that. I think it's either we're putting it on tonight, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, we'll be putting a whole hog I on the beast. that's dinner either tonight or tomorrow night. Tomorrow, well, if we're putting it on the night, it can't be dinner for tonight. Well, so definitely right. dinner for tomorrow we night. Slow smoke that bad boy. Yeah, we're slow smoking it overnight. I think Carrie Chastain's coming in to do that. So we're super excited. Academy is on the way. Jordan, go ahead and pan around. Let them see the deck real quick. Let them see all the stuff that we have put together for our Academy family. We mm, got some mm, guests mm. already filing in. We are having a good time on this Thursday. Rec Tech Academy Thursday right. 2020. I'm so excited, Jordan. Can't give them too much. Hey, tomorrow, Funday Friday is going to be at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. tomorrow, yep. everybody. Not 12, 1 p.m. tomorrow. And we'll give a small sneak peek of right. what's going down here. That's right. And we have, it's going to be amazing. We're going to be cooking brisket. We're going to be cooking chicken. We're going to be cooking pork butts. We're going to be cooking ribs. All that and more. Chef Greg, Jody's here. And Swine Apple for the show. That's what I'm talking it's about. Sarah Starr and Rodney, uh, Rodney Trevino are already here. So it's going to be a good time. Yes, sir. All right. I got the shrimp. Now, these are frozen shrimp, so they still have a little bit of ice on them. You can see that butter starting to melt. Everything's looking duh 
delicious. It smells great. Right? And Jordan, you don't even like onions or corn. No, so you, pick, so you, pick the shrimp out of so there. So you know that it must be good. All right, so we're going to dump the shrimp straight in. Right? And we're just going to let it do its thing in here. Oh, it looks, looks, Those are looks some nice great. shrimp, man. Where did you uh, pick those up from? Uh, I have to give a shout out to Gre uh, Chef Greg. Chef Greg, I think he pulled these shrimp out of Savannah himself. Mm. Yeah, you know, Chef, I would have liked to see Chef Greg with a cast net out there on the it's water. Like Tom throwing Hanks that thing. Castaway. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I've got one lemon. I just sliced it in rounds. We're going to throw this in there. It's like Tom Hanks and Castaway, but instead of a volleyball, he had a... Uh... A a yeah, a frisbee. He painted a face on it. He did. Caught you know what? Shrimp. If <laughs> Chef Greg was going to be on a deserted island with one thing, you know it would be a frisbee, a disc golf, a disc. Yes, he'd be throwing that disc golf for sure. That's so funny. Nothing wrong with that. I know. I love that he loves it. All right, I'm gonna pause for a little minute. Take your pause. Take my pause, and we're just gonna go ahead. And you know what? I like to pause because it's hot. It's hot in Georgia today. We're probably rocking it out about. 85 degrees right now behind these grills. It's a cool 95. So we're gonna take a little time to make one of my de favorite, most delicious drinks out there, a Dirty Girl Vodka Rita. Now, mm -hmm. if you watch me or any of my shows, you know that I love Dirty Girl products and I love their Vodka Rita. It's delicious. It is so simple. It's just a few ingredients. So what we're gonna do is we start with our ice. We have our shaker. I have a few strawberries. So I'm just gonna take the strawberries. We're gonna cut them in half, quarter them. And you can substitute any fruit. I like to do strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, whatever you want, mango. You're only limited by your imagination when it comes to this delicious, delicious drink. But I'm just gonna show you all the basics. So we're gonna get our strawberry in there. We're gonna go ahead and muddle it up. And we're just mashing this strawberry in here. You know what, buddy? to get it all incorporated really nice. You want to do this before you put anything else in this shaker so you can mash it really well. Why not use that last strawberry right there? Just get it fruity. Just get it fruity? Just get it fruity. Well, last, gonna, cut them up. Cut them up? Throw them in there. Come uh, on. All right. Let's throw them in there. Look at that. Plus, all it right. gives you a chance to muddle a little longer. There you go. We'll and we know you, lo you I, love I do. I do love to muddle. I do love to muddle. I just know that there's something delicious waiting for me on the other side. All right, so once we got it all muddled in there, we're going to go ahead and add. You can use whatever vodka you like. I'm using Tito's vodka. Love the Tito's. Probably my second favorite vodka, Jordan. Kind guy. Yeah, my first being Second City Distillery's vodka. Love, 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 love them so much. Second City Distillery. If you haven't checked them out in downtown Augusta, Georgia, Go by and check them out. Look them up online too, man. For they real. got great stuff. They really, really do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a three count. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. That was a strong, strong, strong three. three count. Yeah, yeah, strong three, strong three. All right, and then we're just going to top it off with some of our delicious Dirty Girl Sour Mix. I love this stuff. Anything that takes sour mix, you can use this product. If you can't find this product, you should be able to find it wherever mixers are sold but if you cannot ask for them and if you, they still can't find it just go to dgmixers.com and order it straight from the horse's mouth just a small note john for our yes. viewers this sour mix that you're using is the exact same as our margarita mix that's so right if you see one and not the other online fear not the same product the exact same product this actually though they put it in a new bottle mm -hmm. which i love for all those bartenders out there that were complaining about how the old bottle was just too big to put behind the bar bartenders out there they've redone the bottle they've heard your cry and this is awesome. And it's not that bad for you. I mean, yeah. the, this product is no high fructose corn syrup. It's gluten free. That's right. Vegan, vegetarian friendly. Yes, it certainly is. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and top this off. Put about a five count in there. And then we're just gonna give this bad boy a shake. Mm. That's my favorite part, Jordan, is just shaking it up. You know, you inspired me, John. I mentioned this on one of our live streams yeah. in the comments when I, I was love, watching. I love inspiration. Encourage all of you to comment as well. Uh, you pour the pulp right into your drinks. I love the and pulp. And I dig it. Yeah, I love the pulp. You put dude. me on. I love the pulp. That's the best part for me because you get, get a little something you can Texture, chew on. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to fill this thing up. Oh, man. Looks beautiful. It really is delicious. I don't even have to, I already know. I already know that it's going to be delicious. Mm. 
so refreshing on a hot summer day. Nothing tastes better than a Dirty Girl Vodka. Make it your drink of the summer, guys. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's definitely the drink of Rectech. Oh man, so, so, so good. Love those Dirty Girls. Like I said, Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers. Go look for them wherever cocktail mixers are sold. If you cannot find them there, ask wherever you're at, ask them for it. Be like, we want the Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers. And if you can't wait, go online. Get it from the horse's mouth, dgmixers.com. Awesome, love those ladies too. Also, go follow Dirty Girls. Go follow them on all social media, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, TikTok. They are working hard to bring y'all awesome, awesome content. Love those girls. Yeah. What up? What's so we, up, we did have a question earlier. Yes. Um, you know, we don't show a lot of love often to the Chuck Wagon or the Beast because yeah. they are local pickup only. That's but right. They're out here today. We're yes. featuring them. One guy wants to know, uh, the BFG is the, excuse me, the Beast. Yes, sir. The Beast is the same grill as the one that's on the Chuck uh, Wagon, correct? Yes, that's exactly 100% correct. And you know what? I think you could get those Chuck Wagons kind of custom designed to how you want it. You can get a plus two, which right. comes with two RT700s. That's right. That's exactly right. Feed I a think, small army. Yes, yeah, way, not even a small army, it's feed a large yeah, army. Man. Yeah, definitely, I love those things. Love, love, love them. All right, Jordan, let's go ahead and check out the shrimp. Ooh, Jordan is looking great. You can see it's cooking these shrimp. They're almost done perfect. I'll give you a quick recap. So we've just been rolling the grill out on 475. I put the cast iron skillet inside the grill and let it just do come up to temperature with the grill. And then we just start building all this beautiful flavors in here. You've had that lid open for 30 seconds yeah. and the temp hasn't fluctuated yeah. a bit. And you can see it's still simmering all around the sides. That's what you want to see. Hot, hot, hot. Yes, sir. Looking great. Man. It's warm out here. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! But guys, we are set up for success for this weekend. We are going to have a great time. If you guys have missed out on this Academy, because I think we sold out, I think we sold all the tickets. Uh, but if you want to find out more about Academy, go to rectechgirls.com. You'll find the Academy tab there. Go ahead and click it, and you can find the dates for future Academy, so you won't have to miss out on any of that stuff. I also want to remind you guys, that this is the month. It's Father's Day month, right? So we are partnered up with Glenn Beck to win one for dad. If you wanna find out about that, go to Glenn Beck's Instagram page and find out how you could be bringing a grill home for Father's Day. Be yeah, that's, that's Glenn's thing, so yeah. definitely uh, be sure to give him some love. Yeah, for sure, we appreciate you, Glenn. We totally appreciate you. But yeah, you could be the number one son instead of being the, you know, not the number one second son. string so, yeah the son like, on the bench the, the z team son you know you'd be the you could be a starting squad so definitely go to glenn beck's instagram page check out uh how to uh, win one for dad um also i want to remind you guys follow chef greg jody and i on our uh all our social medias it's chef greg on instagram uh and on facebook and it is uh jody flanagan uh, or john dylan senior on instagram and Facebook. Uh, also, Jody has is barbecue dad, barbecue underscore dad. Uh, you can follow him on all his stuff. And I'm Chef John, uh, uh, Rectech Chef John on Instagram and Rectech Chef John on in, on Facebook. Yeah, give us a follow. If you need to reach us, if you have a question about anything, and you need to talk to us. You can email us, Chef John at Rectech Grills, Chef Greg at Rectech Grills, or Jody at Rectech Grills. And if you need to talk to a live person, you have a, just a question, you need a quick answer. You can call us at 706-922-0890. We're standing by waiting to hear from you. Mm -hmm. We love getting letters, love getting questions, and love we, just talking grill. We miss your call, we call you back. Yeah, we will. Yeah, if we do miss it, we, I promise you we will call you back. Mm. Two questions for you, John, about the dish we're cooking today. We got yeah, the barbecue up. shrimp. Yes. Your spin on it. Yes. Um, one of our viewers would like to know what oil you used in the cast iron pan. Okay, so I just used olive oil uh -huh. to start off. And I sauteed my vegetables on that, the onions, the carrots, the jalapeno. Just got them to start to soften up a little bit. And then once I added, once I had that in there, added my seasoning and let that start to warm up because seasoning uh, acts differently once it's heated up. Like you may taste something when you add seasoning to it immediately, but as that dish starts to heat up and the seasoning start to bloom, is what they call it, um, it'll taste a lot more, you know? So I heated those seasonings up, 
And then we dump the butter in there and just let that butter melt and kind of just get to know all those seasonings of the corn and the jalapeno. Second question was in regard to the shrimp. I yes. know you said they were frozen, but yes. were they raw or pre-cooked or deveined? Was there anything? They were, they were uh, tail on, deveined, and they were not already cooked. They, we were just using a pink brand. Chef Greg got those pink shrimp. That's what they got out of the ocean. Yeah, Jordan, what do you got? I, they're throwing them in here, man. I love it. They're Sling them on in, guys. Super curious today. Craig Leonhart wants to know, uh, how many pellets per hour does the 700 burn? All right, at, at about 300 degrees, 350 degrees, you're gonna burn about a pound an hour, okay? So above 350 degrees, it's gonna burn a little bit more, and under that, for those real low and slow cooks, it's gonna burn a little bit less, but that's a great question. Yeah, about a pound an hour. Good stuff out here, guys. Thank you all for um, yeah. tuning in today. Yeah, and great question. Dropping your comments. Uh, Leah Felger wants to know, was the corn that was in there frozen or fresh? It was fresh corn that I had shaved off of the cob. I, I try to use as much fresh ingredients as possible, and I highly recommend you all too. I understand uh, using frozen stuff is much easier. Sometimes you have to, but you will taste the difference in using fresh ingredients over frozen. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull these shrimp out. Buddy. Man, we got people that are uh, coming to Academy later today. Oh, They're checking in right now yes, on the road. they are. Be safe out safe there. Safe travels. That's right. Everybody out there traveling. I cannot wait to see you. Chef Greg and Jody both told me they are excited for everybody. And man, please, and this is just Jordan saying this. If y'all are stopping at gas stations, rest stops, truck stops, etc., wash them hands before you show up here. <laughs> yeah, be safe, everybody. Yeah, we want We want everyone to be safe. Uh, we're going to have a great time here. Uh, cannot wait to see everybody. But yeah, travel safe, get here safe, and we're going to have fun. And wash your hands. And wash, wash your hands. Always, <laughs> always wash your hands. Okay, Jordan, look how great this came out. Guys, I need to see some hearts. I need to see some wow faces. I need you to smash that share button right now. The only way for my boss to know that I'm doing a good job is that y'all share these videos, that y'all like these videos. That lets him know they're like, hey, keep bringing them this awesome content, John. They really appreciate it. So help me help y'all. Smash that share button. Hit that heart button. Hit that like button. Because this came out delicious. Now, now, what's the inspiration behind this, man? This looks kind of Cajun, kind of Southern. Yeah, it's a, it's a low country dish. And that's why it's one of those low country all-in-one pot dishes. Low country is known for that gumbo. Uh, it's almost if you took, and this is just, you know, my untrained chef opinion. Right. But it, it is honestly low country cuisine. It's a mixture of Creole, Cajun, Southern, you know soul what, food. It's Preach. a little bit of everything. It's a little bit barbecue. of everything. Barbecue. That's what I'm talking about. And the thing is that we really didn't put any barbecue sauce in here. We actually created our own sauce. All right, let's give this a taste real quick. Mm. Now this would be great over like some rice or if you had some noodles or something, this would be delicious. Or you can just eat it straight up. Now let's try it. Oh my gosh. Oof. Ooh. You gotta hide it. You know Jody loves shrimp. Jody loves shrimp, and these shrimp are bomb. The perfect blend of salt, sweetness, and spice. The lemon gives it super brightness. So, 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 so good. So we're gonna finish it with a little bit of parsley over the top. Beautiful. And that is how you do it. So delicious. Mm, mm, mm. It's so easy. Guys, make this meal your next meal. It was that easy. It was like 10 ingredients, one pan, one grill. That's it. I love it. I love it. Jordan, we have any more questions? Let me go back to my handy dandy question sheet over here. See what everybody is saying out in the world guys, of lunch break. Guys, make sure you put those questions in there. Man, there, these, hey, they're there goes 50, there goes 100% of Dirty Girl. Uh-oh. There they go, right there. The team. Now they want to know, could you serve this over rice? Yes, that's what I was. Gonna, that's what I was saying. This would be a perfect dish to serve over rice. As you can see, it's super liquidy. That liquid is where the deliciousness is. Really, it's where it's living. So if you were to pour that over some rice with a few shrimp, bada boom, bada bing, good stuff. Matt Sandberg wants to know what's the most practical size uh, cast iron skillet for the cooks that require one. Uh, 12 to 13 inches. I think this is a 13 inch cast iron skillet and this would be a great one to start out with. Lodge makes these cast iron skillets. Shout out to Lodge. 
in lodge. Hey, if you want to send us some cast iron skillets, you know, I will be happy to cook on them and talk about your wonderful products. But they make a good cast iron skillet. Um, you can order them online, I'm sure, from Amazon. I've seen them there. Or you can go find them at like your Academy or sports, sporting good uh, stores. You can pick up your cast iron skills. Could you throw scallops in the dish? You could do whatever you like. If you would like to throw scallops in here, yeah, do some barbecue scallops. You could replace the shrimp for scallops if you wanted to. Just know that the scallops are going to cook a little bit different than the shrimp, but about the same time, about the same time. They're pointing out that you never did use the Worcestershire. Are, oh, are I, we are, are we foregoing that? Or I actually didn't need the Worcestershire. So traditionally, you would put Worcestershire in here, but as I was blending the flavors together, it did not need it. But normally, it would t probably take two tablespoons of Worcestershire in there, but obviously, you can see, we did not need it, because these shrimp are absolutely Plenty of spices in there too, man. Delicious, so good. Now, another question, mm. I know you said rice would be good, yeah. but what are some other sides you would uh, serve with this dish? Uh, pasta would be a really, <clears throat> excuse me, pasta would be a really good side for this dish. Roasted potatoes would be a really good side for this dish. Anything that you're gonna be able to soak up that liquid with is gonna be a win for this dish. All right, I got my last question for All you right. here, John. And this one is probably the best one of the day. A little personal, we wanna get in deep okay. and know Chef John. Yes. Did you? behave on your trip at Hilton Head Island this weekend. Okay, I'll give y'all a little tidbit of what uh -oh. went on, okay? Remember, this is our family friendly show. It was a great time. I wanna give a shout out again to Brooks family. There was 18 of us, well 17 plus Chef John. So there was 18 of us in there. Uh, beautiful house right on the beach in Hilton Head. But they were partying like rock stars, Jordan. I'm not gonna you lie to you. You couldn't keep up? I struggled <laughs> to keep up with these people. Mm -hmm. They are professionals. I want to give a special shout out to JT and Derek. I love you guys. I hope y'all are having fun setting them tents up on the beach without me. But yeah, they threw it down. We had bottles on top of bottles, on mm. top of bottles, on top of bottles. You're not the young sous chef you once were. That's true. I'm, you know, I'm maybe not as good as I once was, but I am good. One, good enough. One time? You're pretty good. For one time. You're I pretty can, good. I get it done. We can all agree. <laughs> guys, <laughs> thank you so much though for tuning in. Thank you for the questions. We are going to be getting busy as it gets closer to that four o'clock check-in time. We're gonna be doing more and more and more and more. Uh, thank you guys though for tuning in. Remember tomorrow, Fun Day Friday with Jody, we'll be kicking off at one o'clock. I don't wanna give you too much about what's gonna be happening, but it's gonna be awesome. You're definitely gonna tune into that. We will be spinning that wheel of Rectech. And giving away an RT340. That's right, because we spun it last week and it landed on that RT340, my favorite grill that Rectech Grill makes. I don't think there's anything better than that little thing. Bring it with you wherever you want to go. So if you want to find out how to win that, go back to last Monday, Friday, watch that episode so you know you can enter to win that 340. But that's pretty much all I got, Jordan. I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat some of these scrimps. Dig in, buddy. Hey, guys, remember, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rectech. Do, 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 Rec Tech Lifestyle, set it and come get it, when the sun starts going down, live your life the way you like, it's a Rec Tech Lifestyle, Who we got? hey, Scotty Ray, what's Get going on, Mike Johnson, K Sharon, Owen oh, Richards, <laughs> Mike Johnson, Teresa Silcox, Jerry Ferguson. What's up, everybody? Tyler Mitchell, what's going on? Tassie, thank you for watching. Thanks, everybody. Derek, what's going on? We'll thank see you tomorrow. all you guys. Andy Dickey, what's going on? Thank you for watching. Mitch Morgan, you guys are doing so great. Thank yeah. you.